Um, so uh, that is the end of me telling you stories. And I'm, uh, I'm sad too. But I have 15 minutes to, to, to do questions and answers with you if you're interested in that sort of thing. Or we could all just leave and go drink beer. Not together, separately. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if I, like, what am I going to do? Uh, this is Wheaton, party of 609. <laughs> going to have me on Talking Dead? That is an excellent question, and it's complicated. I really didn't like Walking Dead this season. Um, I know, I know, I'm an apostate. Um, there was a lot about it that I really, really liked. I love the last, like, the last three and a half episodes I thought were fantastic. Um, but honestly, like, it just, it felt like there were four episodes in the middle of the season where nothing happened, and it was just filler. And, um, uh, and life is too short to sit around waiting for something that was amazing to get good again. Uh, there's just too much other stuff to do, so I was like, no, I think I've given up on it. And then uh, I'm, I'm really good friends with Ed Brubaker, and Ed's really good friends with Robert Kirkman, who's a creative writer of that. And he said, Kirkman says, just watch the last four, and then you'll, you'll like it. So I watched him, and I loved it. And then I shared a car with Kirkman and, and Ed uh, on, on the way to the airport from the... Um, Emerald City Comic Con earlier this year, and I said, listen, Robert, I, I've never met him before, and I said, I just got to tell you that, like, I, I, your first season was really amazing, but I kind of tuned out in the thing, and it wasn't like, this is Robert Kirkman, oh, hi, Robert Kirkman, I'm going to tell you why I don't like your thing. It wasn't like that. It was like, we were talking about stuff, and he was like, I love this thing you do, and I love that thing you do, and I was like, look, I think that Walking Dead is great, but what happened? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, and why can't Chandler stay in the fucking house? Or Carl, sorry, Chandler's the kid who plays Carl. Um, I made a video with, with Chandler at, um, in Australia that I'll put on YouTube when I get home next week where we made a video of me telling him that he has to get back in the house. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe next season, but, but, I, but I told Chris, you know, Chris and I are really, really good friends, and I said, I just feel like you know, if I come on the show and, and, and you're like, so what about this thing tonight? And I'm like, I don't know, what happened exactly? How did they change the rules of the walkers again? You know, like, I'm that kind of nerd. Do you know anybody like that? I'm sure. <laughs> Are you that guy? Were you that kid, eh? You were that kid, weren't you, eh? Uh, yes? What's your favorite home What is my favorite homebrew? Uh, my favorite homebrew that I've made is a uh, is a double IPA from the Austin Homebrew Supply. Uh, it's a, uh, it was an all grain double IPA that uh, was about six weeks to bottle condition. It was really really good, and I made an arrogant bastard clone uh, that was a partial mash that was really good. Uh, that a friend of mine said he actually likes more than actual arrogant bastard, and I was like, "You're a monster, and you got to get out of my house right now." And we fight more. Uh, when I get home, uh, my son Ryan is home visiting, and when uh, uh, Monday, he and I are going to brew a Bavarian Hefeweizen so that we can call it uh, Wheaton Weizen. <laughs> or perhaps Hefeweizen. 